So there was a picture floating around the internet over the weekend. This was a big recruiting weekend everywhere around the country. Everybody had their big recruiting weekend. Uh, you know, Alabama had, I think they call it cha the championship cookout. Michigan had folks. Ohio State had folks. Florida had folks. So we saw this, this food, and I'm using the term lightly, from Michigan. One of the recruits posted this. Uh, it's some, some sad little uh, wholesale club chicken fingers. Uh, there's a hot dog. I see one grill mark. There's some, some mac and cheese. And I thought to myself, I need to have an expert on to discuss this because I know a guy who does cook for recruits every once in a while. His name is Shannon Snell. Now, here's the thing about Shannon. He is the, the head pit master for all the Sunny's barbecues in North Central Florida. But Shannon also has been a blue chip recruit. He played for the Florida Gators. He played in the NFL. And Shannon... Now, I'm not going to age you here, but did sure. they have stars for recruits when you were coming up? I'm trying to remember. Well, you you might have been one of the original five stars. Yeah, so actually I was right below. I was rated like a, a top four star. I was think my it was .9888. I was right below that five-star mark, so I'm not hating on it. I just And I just found that out a couple of months ago when I checked it. I don't think that was checking back in the day. I, I was going to say that wasn't a thing you thought about in the in the late '90s, early 2000s, when, when no, all that stuff was just coming out. When you were a, a Hillsborough High School Terrier, so yeah, it wasn't really a thing back then. We were just, you know, stars didn't really matter. It was about getting to college and making things happen. Now, let's talk about what you're doing now, though, because you are you you are the head pit master, brand ambassador for Sonny's Barbecue. In North Central Florida, which, by the way, is where Sonny's Barbecue was born. It was born sure. in Gainesville, out on Waldo Road, right? So, That's correct. the you've been cooking for the folks at UF for a while, and they brought you in for their what are they called it Grill in the Ville for their right. recruiting weekend this past weekend. So, tell the folks what you made for the the, the recruits that were in Gainesville. All right, so we. Well, every year we want to kind of step the game up, right? Because it is like the last opportunity that the recruits and the coaching staff are going to get together before the season starts. So you got to make a lasting uh, lasting impression. So we decided to do uh, some baby back ribs, uh, some St. Louis ribs. Um, we did a strawberry shortcake. Um, we did burn-ins. We did smoke wings. Um, some other stuff. We did a, a, a shrimp pasta, Alfredo shrimp pasta, and I smoked the shrimp. Woo. Um, yeah, there was, it was a uh, prime rib that we've done. So your there was your famous seven cheese, mac and cheese, the, the seven cheese, mac and cheese, which is a homemade recipe. Um, it literally has seven different kinds of cheese in it and it's baked, uh, got a nice golden crisp, got a nice golden topping on top of it. So we did it up and it was, it was fantastic. I love doing that kind of stuff. Well, it's a, it's amazing to me to see the photos that you sent me of this stuff because when we looked at the Michigan one, it got, well, cooked is probably the wrong word on social media. But let's, let's take a look at this again. I want to, I want to post this oh plate one God. more time. Listen, I, listen, you and I are I from call, Florida. Publix would never with these chicken tenders. I, you know, they're not public chicken tenders. Those are the farthest thing from it. They're not even, they're not even public cookies. Those things are, that's sad all the way around. And that's the thing is like when, you don't ever want to have a plate like that posted. I get it. Some of these recruits make up their own plates, but ain't no way in heck that I know the University of Florida is going to have hot dogs at a really big time event or box mac and cheese or chicken tenders that look like they're not even real. So it is what it is. I guess that's what they do up north, but that's not what we do in the <laughs> south. And they've won two consecutive Big Ten titles. So whatever they're doing, they're, they're probably doing it okay. Listen, Jim I can't Harbaugh says you're going to get 20 you know, they, guys drafted. So they've knocked guess, off Ohio State a couple of times too. So you can't really say that their recipe is is, is in the food. So maybe it's something different. So Shannon, I, I'm interested because you served as a as a guy who eats a lot of barbecue, who cooks it, but not nearly as well as you, but eats a lot of it. And I feel like sure. I eat it very well. Um, you went St. Louis ribs and baby backs. Mm -hmm. Is that sure did. went both? Is that uh, because different people have different preferences? Do you have different preference in terms of which you prefer to cook? 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I was born and bred on St. Louis ribs. I like the belly. You know, the St. Louis ribs come from the belly of the hog, and um, they got a little bit more fat content. It's a little bit easier to cook those because, um, you know, just because you can mess up a little bit on it and they still come out fantastic. You know, baby backs don't have that, that intramuscular fat if you overcook them. Um, that's actually supposed to be a good thing. Uh, you want them nice and tender. Um, but if you undercook them, you can end up messing them up. So, um, But I was just raised on St. Louis ribs. I love doing them. Whenever I go to a barbecue competition, uh, recently I was on Barbecue USA on the Food Network. And nice. that was one of the competitions we did. And we did uh, St. Louis ribs. That's what wins competition. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Well, I love the, the just pillow of meat on top of a St. Louis rib. That That's when you – and you can pull it like – what what people mess up is good barbecue is not fall off the bone. Fall That's off right. the bone is you you boil it. You but when it's when it's smoked properly, you're gonna be able to tug it a little bit and it'll come off clean off the bone. And that pillow of meat, when you pull it off the bone, it is just it's the perfect bite. Yeah, when you get it right, Andy, it's like it's like perfect. And just as you said, is your ribs are supposed to have a little bit of tug to it. Not enough where you're trying to yank away at the bone, but enough when you bite into it. You get that nice, real even bite, and you see your teeth march into it. That's like it's like the perfect, it's like the perfect storm when it comes to barbecue. The the burn ends also. So you're a Florida guy. That's mm -hmm. a that's a Kansas City, Texas kind of thing. It Did, is. Were there any Texas kids? I'm trying to remember the 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 guest list on the recruiting weekend. I know the the well DJ Lagway was there. There you go. I was about to say, you get the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, yep. yeah, you know, those burn-ins are fantastic. I actually did te Texas brisket as well. Um, nice. I love Texas beef, Texas brisket. I went out to Dallas maybe about seven years ago, and, you know, I tasted brisket out there, and I said, what is so different? Because it was fantastic. Yeah. And all they do is garlic, salt, and pepper, and that's what they do, and they do it well. They believe the beef should speak for itself, and sure enough, I love, I love it. So I've been trying to replicate that, and I've came to a pretty good recipe ever since. So it's more it's more in how you trim it, right? It is. It is. It is. A, so it's rounding the edges, actually squaring the brisket up and getting it to a point where the smoke flows evenly over top of it. You're only using certain kind of woods like oak, hickory, and mesquite. So you're not using a whole lot of uh, different kinds of wood. A lot of times they're cooked on an off by a, a, a stick burner and garlic, salt, and pepper. Maybe a little bit of seasoned salt, maybe some celery salt, but that's it. No sugars. Nothing that's weird. The beef is supposed to really talk for itself and let the smoke do the work. So when you were growing up, did you cook quite a bit in your house or did you cook as a, as a college student? Or when, when did when did this take hold? It's funny. My grandfather used to cook when he was in the backyard. He used to be in over in uh, over in West Tampa. They had a house over there and he had this big old barrel smoker, this big old offset barrel smoker. And I remember for like family reunions, that's where I would be at. I'd be out back probably because I just wanted to the taste of ribs that he was bringing off before every, everybody else got some. But he'd be out there and I'd be out there with him. And I just was so interested that he wouldn't have like a, like a, like a burner. It wouldn't have electricity yet. He was coming out with all this really dope barbecue. So I think it really kind of evolved from there because I always said I wanted to do something in the food industry, more specifically barbecue, because just of those times I would hang out with him and I would see this kind of stuff. It would be so fun. It would be so cool. And the taste, the smoke on on me on on proteins is like like fantastic. It's one of my favorite things that I eat, and it's really it really hasn't changed in my. I'm gonna go ahead and age myself. My 41 years of life. We we may have to make you the official show barbecue correspondent. I I, I think we may have to do that because uh, we're gonna talk about it a lot on this show. I'm, I'm warning yeah. everybody. That, you know, I just moved over to on three. This is a fairly new show. There's some people who've not who are, who are new to me. We're going to talk about barbecue a lot on this show. So, Shannon, hopefully you, you don't mind if I bug you every once in a while. I may, I may send you some photos be like, okay, I need a critique on this. Andy, I don't mind at all. It's barbecue. I get to critique it, make it to try it, and heck, even might, might spark some neurons in my head to maybe start firing something else up myself. So, I, I love I'm it. Hoping you hey, know that. <laughs> thank you so much. And I'm very hungry now after looking at those <laughs> pictures <be> you sent. <laughs> thank you, Shannon. Yeah, brother.